graphing a parabola of the form y equals the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Let's graph the parabola. y equals the quantity x minus 3 squared plus 4. I want to plot five points. One of them has to be the vertex. Two points on the left and two points on the right. You might want to have graph paper. That always comes in handy. If you don't have graph paper, do your best to draw and label uh, your ordered pairs. Uh, make sure you do label, though. Label things very neatly. Uh, remember, the vertex is actually h comma k. So why don't we write that down? Okay, the vertex is h k. In our case here, we could see that the vertex is h is 3 and k is positive 4. So we have one ordered pair already and now our goal is to get uh, four other ordered pairs. One thing we can do is simply pick we can simply pick x's and y's uh, so why don't we try that. Let's pick uh, two x units left of three so that would be one and two. How about we try that? One, two, three. When x is three, we have four, and then we have four, and then we have five. All right, when x is one, we're gonna see that. When x is one, we can actually see that it is y. We're trying to find y, which is one minus three quantity squared plus four. How much do we have there? Negative 2 quantity squared is positive 4, so y is 8. So when x is 1, y is 8. What about x equals 2? We get positive 1 plus 4, which is 5. How about x equals 4? We still get positive 1 squared plus 4. So we still get 5. And then 5, 2 quantity squared, we get once again, we're back at 8. So our goal is to plot that. Notice this happens to be in quadrant one, and we could actually draw a graph that's eight units high and six units right of quadrant one. There's another ordered pair that we should pay attention to, uh, and that is we want our y-intercept. So when the y-intercept occurs when x is zero. So when x is zero, why don't we highlight this guy? When x is 0, we get the y-intercept. In this case, 9 plus 4 is 13. So some of you might want to plot 0, 13. It just depends on your personal preference. Why don't we start graphing this? And I think I could get enough graph paper here Let's find our ruler. Our ruler is right here. So if you have a straight edge, that also comes in handy. And I'm actually going to graph a straight line right about here. And let's draw another straight line. I do need at least eight units. Uh, let's say 13 units up. So why don't we try that? And I feel like blue today, so why don't we draw the actual graph in blue. And we need to plot at least five ordered pairs. Make sure you plot the vertex first. So three, and then four. There's your vertex. That's really the key here. Since this parabola is opening up, there is a minimum. And that minimum is actually uh, four. Uh, one, we can get eight, so um, why don't I do some labeling here? So this is three, this is four, five, six, seven, eight. And when x is one, we have eight. When x is two, we have five. Ooh. When x is four, we have five. Ooh. And then when we have 5, we have 8. When x is 5, we have 8. Ooh. Now, when x is 0, we get our y-intercept. 
So 9, 10, 11, 12. Here's 12. And then here's 13. Boom, right there. We can actually create a symmetric point. Our symmetric point would be what? 6, 6, 13. Whoa, 6, 13. We'll plot another point over here. Da da! And of course, you have some nice special characteristics in a parabola, like the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry here, it turns out to be a vertical line, so we actually label this x equals 3. Uh, why don't we draw our shape now? Boom! And there is your parabola. Uh, things are quite labeled. Uh, just to be clear, let's label our vertex. Our vertex is 3, 4. You can also label things in a t-chart. That is also very much acceptable. Looks like my ruler got in the way, but I did circle that. So there you go. You've graphed the formula in y equals the quantity x minus h squared plus k.